Leonardo da Vinci beautiful painting of the savior of the world, Salvador Mundi. Mystery has been solved as the scientists decipher this famous Jesus Christ painting. They believe they finally solved an ancient mystery in one of Leonardo's paintings of Jesus Christ this is by Sean Martin Express UK. It's one of the 15 known paintings by Da Vinci and it shows Jesus Christ holding what appears to be a glass orb. That's the universe, the whole of creation. But in the painting, which dates back to about 1500, there are no signs of refraction or reflection from the glass orb. Instead, the painting shows a clear orb which sits upon Jesus' palm, allowing the viewer to see clearly through this glass. The robes behind the orb are not magnified or distorted. There appears to be no other light source reflecting onto this orb. Knowing that da Vinci's genius would do something about the orb, scientists had been sure that the artist had not made such a simple mistake in one of his masterpieces. It must have meant something. But using advanced 3D rendering, experts were able to show that da Vinci did not make a mistake, but rather the sphere is a hollow orb. Researchers from Cornell University says, a debate in the scientific literature has arisen regarding whether the orb deciphered in Salvador Mundi, which has been attributed to some experts to Leonardo da Vinci, was rendered in an optical, faithful manner or not. Now you do see that it magnifies his palm just a little bit. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no, but anyway. Some hypothesize that it was solid crystal, while others hypothesize that it was hollow with competing explanations for its apparent lack of background distortion. There was no distortion whatsoever. And uh, it's three white spots on it. Our experiments, they said, show that an optically accurate rendering, qualitatively matching that of the painting, is indeed possible using materials, light sources, and scientific knowledge available to Leonardo at that time of 1500. This analysis suggests that Leonardo understood these optical properties of hollow balls and how to avoid distracting optical distortions from rendering the folds of the subject's robe. So if it was uh, an orb that was filled, it would be magnifying. But this orb was not filled, it was just an empty glass orb. Salvador Mundi was first recorded during the reign of King Charles, 1600 to 1649. It disappeared from 1763 to 1900 when the figure's face was overpainted with a beard and mustache, believing it to be one of Leonardo's pupils. And in 50, 1958, it sold for 45 pounds. That's it. 45 pounds. That's nothing. At Sotheby's uh, auction sale, it disappeared again until 2005. That's when it was purchased from an American estate at a small regional auction house. And six years later, after research and authentication, which involved the world's leading Leonardo expert, it was confirmed as being genuine Leonardo da Vinci painting. The depiction of Christ re-emerged in 2005 when an American businessman bought it at a small auction house for less than $10,000 in the U.S. And the painting was sold to the Russian oligarch Dmitry Rubolev in 2013 for 96 million pounds, but he sold it through Christie's own uh, Wednesday evening, uh, on Wednesday evening in New York, and Christie gave the painting a guide price of 100 million dollars, but it ended up selling for 450 million, almost half a billion dollars. It's more than double the previous record for a painting sold at auction. It is a magnificent painting, and whoever has it is really blessed and very lucky. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.